tiga. Hello teachers and friends. My name is Juan Sama Pianati. I am from SDH Bangka Grade 5. Today I want to present about my game to help the environment. This game was made by Pictoblocks. So before this I need to uh I need to explain the theme of the game to all of you guys here. So the entire theme of the game is to help protect the environment and the oceans. So the point of the game is that you you have to clean up the ocean and you are a shark. So you have to you have to clean the ocean and also save the fishes from eating the trashes. So let me just explain the entire game to all. This is the sound effects. The sound effects are ocean waves. Now the reason why I chose ocean waves was because it's in the sea. The sea has ocean waves. This is a scoring system. As you can see, whenever this, whenever you start off a game, you always start off with 100 score. This is the timer system. You always get 30 seconds and whenever it goes below zero seconds it will automatically stop the game your point of this game is to get as much score as you can in the game now this is the shark let me explain the mechanics of the shark to you the shark is the player aka you so let me explain how it works here this is the size settings and also the reset positioning setting so when you know how whenever you play a game you all whenever you start a new game it always resets back to normal right now this is the entire point of this so whenever you start a new game it will reset automatically reset its positioning to the original positioning it was meant to be these are the movement panels up left down right yeah it's pretty simple this is the animationing set where so the shark can eat so it can like bite like like that now this is the fish the fish you have to protect the fish from eating the trash and you cannot eat the fish if you're wondering because if you eat the fish you will get negative points so let me explain that later so this is for movement this is for dispensation this is for making a clone of itself so it always it always has a fish you know and to add more variety i put a next costume so the fish will always not be the same it will always be something different now the scoring system here is that you cannot let the fish eat the trash. You will get if the fish eat the trash and die, you will get negative ten points. And whenever you, yes the player, eats a fish, you will get negative points. Now this is the trash. So this is so it can always create a clone of itself so it doesn't run out and also it always has a next costume so animation you know this is so it can despawn this is so it can move now here's the scoring system so let me explain something whenever you the player or the shark you can say eat the trash you will gain plus 10 points the other one i already mentioned it but if you didn't uh if you want to hear it again is that whenever the tra trash get in by the fish the fish dies and you get negative 10 points if you're wondering what all of these others sprites are they are actually other trash sprites but they have the same coding also i know it's kind of cruel to make a shark eat trash but Let's just imagine it's a government shark meant to eat trash and incinerate it at its stomach. So you don't need to feel like bad about the shark eating trash. Okay. 
Now let me show you the actual game. And that is the game that I made to try and help protect the ocean and make the ocean cleaner and habitable for other fishes for later on in the for our future generation. And also a game to help protect the environment. I hope you can enjoy this game and have and also thank you for listening about my presentation for my game. I hope you all have a great day and may God bless you. Goodbye.